G'day Bomber fans, the 2023 mid-season draft is coming up very soon and us Bombers have two list spots available which means we can pick two players eligible for the draft. Today I'm going to try and find the players most suitable to our list or that we have been rumoured to be linked with. But before I do, a really quick little word from our sponsors. Bomber fans, I've got to tell you about Manscaped because it's bloody awesome. My nuts have never been smoother and you can join me with smooth balls if you'd like for cheap as well. Head over to manscaped.com, buy whatever you like and enter in the discount code everything SN20 and you can save 20% off plus free shipping. Now onto the video. We will start with a couple of players us fans should be a tad familiar with. We have two currently in our VFL team that will be gathering attention this draft. Quinton Narkel obviously is one of them. He played at Geelong before joining our VFL team and has been a great addition to our midfield and forward line in the resis. He plays between the two spots. He is usually a mid to low disposal but high impact player. We kind of saw that at Geelong. Narkel is 25 turning 26 late into the year though, but he has been great for us in the VFL. He recently starred against Brisbane in a losing team. He is clearly in the mix to land somewhere. Don't know if it is necessarily with us. Young Jack Cleaver is a player many thought would be signed to the Bombers during the SSP period. We did sign him, but to our VFL team, we left our list spots open for the mid-season draft, and now Cleaver, a strong defender, will have a great chance to make the switch to the AFL group. He had already trained with us. He is a bit raw, if anything, but young enough to warrant us risking a short-term contract on him. He only just missed out on the draft last year. He turns 19, uh, oh, I think he's just turned 19 actually, so there is a lot of upside, especially because he has held his own in the Resi's teams at times. He still has a long way to go, so if we do pick up Cleaver, it will probably be with our second pick. I doubt other clubs are keeping a very close eye on him. We know him better than most. Oscar McDonald is supposedly close on our radar. We obviously need more key defensive depth. The loss of Laverde really hurt us against Brisbane, especially with other defenders also sidelined. So Oscar McDonald, a 27 year old who has played over 80 AFL games would be a handy short term acquisition. He currently plays at Williamstown in the VFL and he has played really well lately since being delisted really. He isn't a player that strikes inspiration onto your list but if Scott really does think our key defensive options are that light he may want to tap to Doro on the shoulder to add an experienced player like McDonald for a quick fix. Another key defensive option is Marty Hoare who like McDonald was also a backman at Melbourne. He has played much less footy only 14 games in the AFL and he was taken as a mature aged recruit so this guy despite having less experience is actually the same age. He actually started off with us when he was younger in our VFL team. He didn't play much I believe but was on our squad and I think after being delisted uh, recently he was watched by North Melbourne. He may have even trained with them for an SSP spot but was ultimately unsuccessful. Now a little fun fact Marty Hoare and Oscar McDonald are actually current teammates. They both play at Williamstown and unfortunately Essendon's reserves team are yet to play Williamstown so I actually haven't seen either of them play but Williamstown Stone have been uh, very sound defensively because of these two, aside from their 93 point loss against Werribee, but we won't talk about that. On to another former AFL player, Riley Stoddart. Um, if Hoare is inexperienced, Stoddart is next level. He has only played a little over a handful of games for the Sydney Swans across three seasons there, I think. He was delisted in 2020, hard year for any player, the COVID impacted season. He is a classy halfback flanker, or he was a classy halfback flanker. I haven't seen much of him at Frankston to know how he plays now. He has been at uh, Frankston for two years now, but this season he has been elite in the VFL, one of the best performing players. He averages almost 30 disposals a game this year, mostly across halfback like his time in the AFL, but he has supposedly also played midfield minutes. Again, I can't confirm this because I haven't watched uh, him play. Our VFL team is yet to play them, but this is a 23-year-old that a few teams are certainly watching, so don't be surprised if he does end up with us or earlier in the draft. I will end the video with a player I really like. Luke Teal has caught the eyes of list managers around the comp this year. He was extremely extremely unlucky to miss out on a list spot through the draft uh, last year, but injuries just killed him. He had appendicitis, a broken collarbone. I've spoken about him before here on this channel, I think actually. He is just a really unlucky young man. He has had a good run since being added to Richmond's VFL list. I should add, we love to poach players from the Tigers resis. Sam Durham and Massimo D'Ambrosio are two recent ones that spring to mind, so Dodoro would have definitely had a watch of this kid. He is a general defender, really agile, but I think clubs will be looking to use him on a wing, maybe, which works because as much as I love Durham, it would be great for him to have a young up-and-coming player to challenge him for squad spots, or he could do the same down back. Teal is versatile. He can play defense or midfield. He has a great tank on him. The only worry for me is his body, really. Uh, I like this kid a lot. He can play. I've, I've seen him a lot, so I'd be very happy to see him in the red and black, even just for a season as an experiment. But that is that. A quick little video. I'll post another one of these uh, closer to the mid-season draft with more info on more players. We are still a few weeks away, but if you want to keep up to date, watch those 
those players a tad again this is just my thought process i am probably wrong because well i'm not a list manager and uh also just subscribe to the channel i post two to three videos per week related to the don so why not join the community